Here I'm out getting ready to do some addressing of a city multi-system. Right now I'm looking at uh, two outdoor units that are twinned, twinned together. My outdoor model number is right here. You can see the model number is a P-U-R-Y-H-P-9-6-T-K-M-U-A-H. So right here you can see these rotary dials on all of these city multis. You see I have a tens, digits, and then the one digit. Um, you can see that right here down below. I'm going to go right here and I'm going to start with the 50. So this is going to be 50. So I got 5 and I'm going to make this 51. So now we got 51. I'm going to do the same thing to the second unit next to it. It will be 52. And then I'll go down and find the branch box and that's going to be 53. Now I have the second unit opened up. I'm going to be addressing this one, 52. I also highly recommend once you address a unit to write it on the unit somewhere. It just makes it easier down the road for anyone who comes out for service calls or maintenance. Here you can see I have the branch box numbered at 53. So you want to make this one number higher than your highest outdoor unit. So out in my outdoor unit I have a 51 and a 52. So now my branch box is going to be a 53. Here you can see at my branch box all of my different indoors are labeled to what number they are on here. So when I go to the indoor units I'll have to set what port number they're hooked up to. So if I have 1L, I'll have to make sure it's set as number 1. 1C, I have to make sure it's set as number 2, and so on. While addressing your indoor units, you will start with the number 1 and continue to count up. So now we're at the indoor unit. I'm going to show you how to address the indoor unit. This top one here, you need to correspond it with how it's labeled on the branch box. We have ours for 1C is labeled number 2 at the branch box. So I'm going to change this to the number 2. And you can see there it's labeled as number 2 now. And then down here, uh, I'm going to be labeling it what number I'm going to have it addressed. And for me, I'm going to have it addressed as number 5. So you can see now I have the bottom address is number 5 and on the branch box it is number 2 and I keep my 10th column 0. So once you hook up the maintenance tool you can search for the addresses and here you can see you can double check all your work on your outdoor units, your branch box. Here it's showing what they're all addressed as and then what port they're hooked up to. So this is a good way you can double check all your work to make sure your addressing was done correctly.